Hello and welcome back to TW 2016. I'm here with an episode of Monday Night Raw, the Raw After SummerSlam. Tonight is the draft. Let's kick it off and go. Okay. Okay, we're in the right place. This is I, I was doing this to try out Awesome Kong to see if she, if she could pull a decent match out of Billy Kay. And um, it was pretty, it was alright. It was alright. It's not the worst women's match I've had. Alright, Raw officially opens up. Mr. McMahon starts off saying, I'm out here to explain the rules of tonight's draft. Firstly, Shane and Stephanie will draft 20 superstars each tonight. Secondly, as I said last night, Shane gets the first pick. Thirdly, tag teams can come in pairs, but they don't have to. Fourthly, there will be a supplemental draft after the show on the WWE Network to draft everyone else that has not been drafted. Fifthly, all champions are eligible for this draft. And lastly, we will start off Raw with the first five picks, and later in the show we will continue. So let's introduce my son Shane. Shane comes out. And my daughter, Stephanie. Stephanie comes out. And they start the pick picks. Shane says, This is one hell of a draft... Of a pick. Wait, wait, what? Oh, fuck, I didn't read. I didn't read it all. I forgot to scroll. Uh... Uh... Draw, yeah, yeah. That did a point better. That stayed the same. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, Shane says, so, shall we get started? Shane, Finn says, go right ahead with your first pick. Shane says, well, since all champions are eligible, I'm picking the WWE champion, Dean Ambrose. Stephanie looks a little agitated, but then she says, well, if you pick Dean, then I'll pick the Intercontinental champion, Kevin Owens. So Kevin Owens is the number one draft for Raw. And that's where it ended. So I, I, I couldn't remember which... I mean, I knew Ambrose, but I forgot who Stephanie picked first. Anyway, let's see here. That is one hell of a pick, but I think I can one-up you with mine. SmackDown's second pick is Seth Rollins. Steph says, Shane, you just made a horrible mistake because Raw selects John Cena. Shane says... Well, SmackDown selects Tyler Breeze, the man who beat John Cena last night for the United States title at SummerSlam. Stuff then goes on to say, that was quick. You see, I don't make quick and rash decisions because on behalf of Monday Night Raw, I pick... Now, this is where I fucked up. I, I was thinking she's going to pick the tag team champions. She picks Miz and Morrison. She picks Miz and Morrison, and Shane says, Steph, I don't make rash decisions. SmackDown selects Brock Lesnar. So SmackDown, during the first part of the draft here, pick Brock Lesnar. Steph says, well, Shane, Ross selects the WWE Women's Champion, Sasha Banks. And Shane goes on to say, Steph, if you pick Sasha... I have to pick Becky Lynch. So if Becky Lynch is going to SmackDown. Steph then goes on to say, for the final pick of this round, I select the Roman Empire. She selects the entire Roman Empire, which consists of R Roman Reigns, the Usos, Anderson and Gallows, and Damian Sandow. And then says, ladies and gentlemen, round two of four will be later in the show. So we will have four rounds with five picks each round. That starts off our first match of the night. Jay Lethal is in the ring with Chris Jericho in a decent match. Chris Jericho defeats Jay Lethal by submission with the walls of Jericho, but um, average is his gimmick. That's that's not bad. Um, Jericho wins. Lethal is kept strong and open, so I'm hoping to get Jer Lethal some exposure here right off the bat. And after the match, 
Jericho says, I don't care what show I end up on tonight because no matter where I go, I will still be in the best in the world at everything that I do. Do you understand what I'm saying to you right now, you stupid idiots? So Jericho cuts a Jericho promo. Yay! Lana introduces Rusev into this into a match and let's see I forgot who I had him fighting I the way I book is I book the matches and then I book the angles sorry I had to take a drink of water but I book the matches before I book the angles to keep the ratio of matches to angles so I know exactly how much match I know exactly how much match time I have to have to keep it within the 40% or whatever and I keep roughly around that but as I booked the matches early this morning, and it is nighttime now that I just finished all the angles, which I mean, obviously I didn't work all that time on it, but you know, shit happens. Anyway, let's continue. Rusev defeats Neville. Good match for a squash match, to be honest. Actually, I don't think it was a squash match. Um, it wasn't set as a squash match, but in all honesty, it was a squash match. <laughs> anyway, Rusev defeats Neville with the accolade. All right, here we go. Part two of the draft. Vince, Shane, and Stephanie are back on the stage to com complete the second round. Vince says, welcome back to the draft. Let's get to business. Shane, who do you pick? Shane says, my next pick simply is Sami Zayn. And Steph just comes in right away and says, okay, Shane, my next pick is Bulletproof. So she picks the Roman Empire and Bulletproof, two major factions. Shane says, Steph, I'll let you have the numbers. I pick the returning Rey Mysterio. Steph says, well, Shane, my next pick is Kurt Angle. And Shane says, I've yet to pick a, a tag team. So my first tag team pick is Enzo and Big Cass. Steph says, you got a returning star, so I'm getting a newly returning star. Except mine has more upside due to his age, and his name is Drew McIntyre. The younger of the two guys that were picked. Um, good, good. Shane says, SmackDown's next pick is the Viper, Randy Orton. And Steph says, takes a minute looks at her papers and then she says on behalf of Monday Night Raw I select the Bulgarian brute Rusev Rusev is selected and Shane goes on for the final pick of the round for my final pick of the round I select the team of Big Show and Kane the returning a tag team return there Steph says I pick yeah once again as I said earlier um <laughs> She picks New Day! Vince says, thanks everyone. Tonight, we still have two more rounds. Which leads to a good New Day match! Of course! Well, of course it's a good New Day match. New Day beat the Dudley Boys. Um, good match, good match. And then afterwards, they cut promo saying how they're happy to be on Raw or whatever in their New Day way. You know, the obnoxious, over-the-top, happy-go-lucky, fun way. Good promo by AJ Styles. I would never have guessed he would do that good at a promo, but AJ says, I came to WWE to be champion, but now I'm not even on the same show as the world champion. Stephanie McMahon better do something to get a world title on Raw, or else she'll have a very low morale around here. And he says it in a threatening way. <laughs> So, go AJ. And he has an alright match with Baron Corbin, which he wins. He, he beats Baron Corbin. Yeah. Alright, that leads to this one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to round three of the 2016 WWE Draft. Now, Shane, let's get going with your pick. My first pick of this round is a former WWE and World Heavyweight Champion, Alberto Del Rio. Firstly, I would like to address what AJ said earlier, says Stephanie. 
Starting next week, we will begin qualifying matches for a six-man match at the next pay-per-view for the World Heavyweight Championship. And as for my pick, I pick Bailey. And Shane says, well, SmackDown not only has a world title, but we have THE world title. But I digress, and our next pick is Natalia. Stuff this. My next pick is Bray Wyatt. Shane then goes on to pick Charlotte. Stuff as well. I think my next pick has to be a former multi time world champion, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. I don't think I did I have Jericho picked in this? Either way, SmackDown at some point was supposed to pick Jericho if I ever already picked him somewhere. I thought I did, but I can't remember. Anyway, continue on. And he's a, and Shane goes on to pick Paige. So in this round, he's picked Charlotte, Paige, and Natalia. And Steph goes with Gail Kim. And Shane, for the final pick for him of the round, he picks Melissa Archer, formerly known as Cheerleader Melissa. Steph then goes on to say, for my final pick of the round, I pick Emma. So that was a, a women-heavy round right there. Um, I, I didn't have enough room, so Vince just closes out the segment like he has been. Thanks. Um, the final round will be later tonight. All right, Drew McIntyre versus Apollo Cruz. Drew McIntyre defeated Apollo Cruz by pinfall at the Future Shock. Not that bad of a match. Not that bad of a match. Oh, but this interview segment's gonna suck. Yeah, it didn't suck horribly. Drew says it feels great to be back in the WWE. And I promise to make an impact here on Raw. And don't get confused. I'm not doing it for all you idiots out there in the crowd. I'm doing this for myself. So he's saying he wants credibility back in his name. He's come back here to make an impact. I didn't... That, that, that's not as bad of a match as I thought it would be. Kane and Big Show defeat the Social Outcasts. Nothing much to say about that. <laughs> And afterwards, they, they choke slam the social outcast. Once again, n nothing really to say about that. <laughs> All right, the final round. Welcome to the final round of the draft. And keep in mind, if someone isn't picked, they will be assigned to a brand in the supplemental draft, which is a random draft happening on the WWE Network. But let's get to the final five men drafted in the main draft. Shane says, thanks, Dad, for SmackDown's first pick. And the final round, I'll pick Cody Rhodes. Steph then goes on to say she's going to pick a member of the new era, and it's Baron Corbin, who just lost to... Fuck, how do I not remember who he just lost to? AJ Styles he lost to, okay. Since you went new era, I'll go new era, and I pick Jay Lethal, and the ounce is pro with the fact you can't get any, new, any more new than that. He just debuted tonight. Steph then goes on to say, Raw picks Cesaro. And then Shane's all like, that was quick, but my pick's Bobby Roode. Stephanie then says, Shane, I feel you have failed tonight, and the fact that you let me get this person this late is laughable. I pick Nikki Bella. <laughs> Shane says, well, all right, if you think so. But I will pick Blake and Murphy with Alexa Bliss. So they come as a package deal. And then Stephanie goes on to pick another her, her, another tag team for her. Rowan and Harper. Harper isn't ready yet, but whenever he is, she will have that team. Shane says, that's a good pick, pretty good pick, but my last pick of this draft will be Apollo Crews. Stephanie goes on to say, my final pick of the draft is Talia Sky. So Talia Sky is on Raw, Cruz is on SmackDown, and let's see what McMahon says. That does it. You have your main superstars for both Raw and SmackDown. Now it's up to you to, t to make your sh own show better than the others. And also, I have one final major announcement. Not announcement. One announcement. Each month, we'll host now. We'll now host two pay-per-views. One for Raw and one for SmackDown, except for the months with the Royal Rumble, Money in the Bank, Survivor Series, SummerSlam, and of course, WrestleMania! Now, 
and we'll enjoy your main event tonight, which is, if you remember from last week, Sami Zayn and John Cena. I forgot to put hype up graphics throughout the show, but eh, whatever. Know, a pretty good match. John Cena, a superb match. John Cena defeats Sami Zayn. Um, after the match, a simple... Oh, no. Cena broke something. Cena walks over and... You know, he goes over, shakes Sammy's hand. Show ends with a, a 76. Oh, yeah. No storylines. That's what killed us. <laughs> no storylines killed us. Luckily, I won't have that problem next for anymore because that, w that was a mainly draft-heavy episode and kind of just... The matches weren't even storyline progressing. It was more of just r matches. How long are you out, Cena? Please don't tell me long... Cena is out three months. Let's see here. We're in August, September, October, November. What's the November pa Raw pay per view? November. Oh wait. Oh, November Survivor Series. He'll be back by Survivor Series. <laughs> Why? Why do you fuck up my plans? Now I have to take him out of the World Title match. Have to replace him. I. Why? Anyway, thanks so much for watching this long-ass episode. See you guys next time.